hello you welcome back to my channel this is Folake with welcome to chat with Folake today I have my amazing guest here Mr. Mori thank you so much for coming we so we so appreciate you for coming so today we have a topic that we're going to talk about we're going to make you fun informal mm. I want to hear your take on this topic okay. roles in relationship we're talking specifically about marriage are there really defined roles in a marriage between husband and wife now? First and foremost, thank you for having me. Thank you. The short answer is no. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the real definition of role is um, assigned or assumed responsibility in a mm -hmm. team. Mm -hmm. And when you look at that definition in the family setting, which we'll consider a team, mm -hmm. then you will say yes. Yeah. Because yeah. you assign roles to each party. Mm -hmm. But um, the way things are now, um, I say no because um, I don't believe that's the way to go. Because when you do assign roles mm -hmm. in that kind of relationship, there's the tendency that one person may get overburdened. Sure. You know, so that's why I said no. Hmm. So when you when you say so that your assumed role, let me get so I can get a better understanding. The assumed roles, they are the roles that people just automatically believe these are my roles. Yes. Without anyone giving it to them. And I think that's what I see these days, mm -hmm. whereby people just assume without having that conversation. Sometimes it's good to communicate, yes. to talk like, okay, what are your expectations? I mean, and, and I feel couples, at times we have to sit there and be like, what, are you, what do you expect of me? Mm -hmm. What do I expect? So those assumed roles, I feel needs to be communicated too. Mm -hmm. Ask about it. Yeah. I'm assuming that I'm supposed to do this, but I'm getting stressed. Do you still believe these are my responsibility? Well, if you ask me, I would say those assume roles, it's because it's something that you are used to. Mm, um, mm, you know, yeah. for me, the way I see it is certain assume roles, yes, you can still assume them because yeah. you can do them. You, mm -hmm. But where the partnership comes in is your husband or a wife, you know, this person, for example, I'm a husband and I assume the responsibility of the sole provider. But my wife do work. Yeah. She works, she makes money. Mm -hmm. So just because I assume that responsibility doesn't mm -hmm. mean she can't ch chime in and say, oh, let's do this. Yes. You know? So yeah. I don't, you don't have to wait for the other party to say, well, this has own road is over. You, we just need to go in and mm -hmm. see this need and do it. Don't wait. For yeah. example, I go to the store, I realize that we don't have this item at home. I won't wait for, you know. <laughs> or drive back home and be like, exactly. with, I saw milk at the store, but because it's your recipe, exactly. please go and buy it. Because, yeah. you, because maybe you are, your wife is the one who assumed that responsibility mm -hmm. of grocery shopping. Yeah. Then you just feel that's not my job. I don't yeah. want to do it. <laughs> so basically anyone that is available, available can step yes. in and dive in and, and, and do and I think that's the beauty of a home too because by the time we start to have it will be it will, there will be tension when we become to have this uh this is yours this is your side of the house to take care of this is my side of the house there will be tension there won't be freedom anymore and there will be lapses too yes because mm -hmm. when we do that, when I assign you this role to make sure you're the one who's always sweeping this place, mm -hmm. then anytime I come, I don't say, I say she didn't do this. Mm -hmm. but, but, you know, but if I don't yeah. assign it and yeah. I see, then I'll know, oh, we need to move this stuff. I just do it. Yes. <laughs> so roles need to be we. Like you said, we need like we need to do this. Yes. So it needs to be a we, not she or he. Not she or he. Yeah. And and I and I and I agree with that. And so let's talk about what the cultural influences on this. Yes. Yes. Um. Like we mentioned earlier, the reason why I gave the short answer was uh, no, but there's also a yes because mm. the assumed role is what culture and tradition mm. creates in you. It's something that. Nurture, 
Yes. It's yeah. like what I see my mommy do exactly. is what I would do. Exactly. What I see my dad do, that's what I would do. Mm-hmm. So those, uh, that's where you get assume roles mm-hmm. and responsibility comes from. Mm-hmm. Because you grew up in an environment, um, religious background where the wife has to do certain things, mm-hmm. you know cultural background where the husband is solely responsible for this task wow yeah you know mm-hmm. so and those things they carry over with us yes you know for example no matter how civilized that person is definitely you sometimes you do them unconsciously yes unconsciously keyword yes i like you, that mm-hmm. because i may go to try to do something in the kitchen i see dishes in the sink and i'm in my mind i'll be like ah, this woman didn't wash these dishes rather than just you mm-hmm. know taking care taking of it because it's our dish yes you know we all use exactly yes. so you know mm-hmm. but because of how we are raised you know we just feel it's not my responsibility mm-hmm. that's not what i'm supposed to do or a wife who comes home and see a husband sitting watching TV say, ah, i need to cook i'm not cooked you know mm-hmm. even though it's a good thing yeah you know, but that is what i saw roles and responsibility and you, you're so you right yeah like oh i need to go and cook quickly mm-hmm. but maybe he's not even thinking about it yes he may oh, not feel guilty oh, exactly he's probably hungry. Yes. And, I, and with my husband i do it all the time i'll be like hey sorry especially if i see him maybe just boiling water <laughs> do you need me to immediately i'm already thinking mm-hmm. okay maybe i did he's hungry and i didn't even pay attention, pay attention. To yes yes you yes. i know i'm fine i'm not hungry that's true my wife my wife for example um, maybe I just eat with, uh, and I'm trying to just wash that place. She said, no, just leave it there. Do this and come take care of it. Don't worry about it, you know? But I'm like, it's okay, I can do it. But she <laughs> feels it's her responsibility to, to do. do it all. Mm-hmm. Or she will feel she wants to do it in a certain way. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, that's also how people assume responsibility. Because mm-hmm. if I don't do it, nobody will do it the way I want The way to I want to. And, and you're right, and that's I, I feel the when they call is it superwoman. Some people they are superwoman or superman because mm-hmm. they they just want to do it all. Yes. And like the, and with the, the the way you give an example of your about your wife, you know they as long and I feel as long as that person is okay with it, they are not burdened by it. I feel it's okay. If even if they assume that role, it's okay as long as they are not burden they are not it's not like oh oh I'm, I'm doing this out of because i don't have the time i'm stressed and this mm-hmm. but now i'm killing myself to do this because i have to do, do it, it. Yeah. she's doing it out of her goodness because she feels she wants to do it she loves to do it that's yeah. the word yeah. the ability mm-hmm. she has the, the she that's what something that excites her that's one thing she loves to do but there's mm-hmm. also a downside to that True. because you love doing it, you mm-hmm. want to do it, you assume so many roles, you assume the role of um, making sure you prepare mm-hmm. breakfast mm-hmm. for the kids, making wow. sure you get them to the bus, making sure you get to work on time, making sure you check on your parents, making just sure one person. just you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? You assume those responsibilities mm-hmm. and you are not asking for help. Hmm. You don't feel as if somebody is pressuring you, hmm. but there comes a time when you become overburdened. Oh wow! You know because now wow. when you become overburdened, you now that pressure will now extend to your partner. True. Take it out on them. Exactly. Yes. So that's why I believe flexibility is the hmm. way to go. Yeah. You know, let's be flexible. Anyone who is available can do whatever. Yeah. That's not to say in like what we mentioned there are some cultures and some traditions that specifically assign certain roles true you know but they, those but those roles are not written they are not written it's like they are they are communicated in in actions you see what i'm saying yeah. they, there's no book out there that say ah my child here is this book go and read this book this is the book of these are your responsibilities. I feel people just teach it through actions. Sometimes a parent might call the daughter, come and be looking at me. This is your role. Mm. This is what you're supposed to be doing. Because when you get to your husband's house now, or sometimes, and I'm guilty. 
So now whenever my husband is taking out the trash, I'll be like, take Joshua with you. I do that a lot. Take Joshua. I'll be like, Joshua, you need to be taking out the trash. That's what we do naturally without even but you know thinking what? about you it. Know what? Mm -hmm. My wife takes trash out. Really? Yeah. Oh, it, I, I'm so guilty. Now I'm guilty because I, I don't. She does take trash. Really? Mm -hmm. I don't. I at, don't even... at some point, I didn't know which days the trash people. <laughs> <laughs> it's not because I don't want to. Be, I know. But because that's where we come back to assume roles. Assume roles. Yes. Know? Because she just does it. Just natural. Just... Yeah, but to some people, I've heard somebody say it's the man's responsibility. To that's me. That's the people out, like you know? me. Uh, and then, and if and if, you know, and that's when we're talking about this topic, and I'm searching my heart, my mind, I'm like. I did some things that indirectly, mm. you see what I'm mean? indirectly assigned. Because sometimes we indirectly assign something. Yes, yes. And they, this trash is full. Can, yeah, can you please take out this trash? And every time it's them that you're always saying to them. Yeah, yeah. That's how indirectly. Now assigned it feels that, like yes. once it sees that trash, now it feels that, oh, this is my responsibility. Oh, the trash is full. I have to mm. I have to take out the trash. I have to do this. I have and I will um, take Joshua, let Joshua to go and learn to... You see, you just made a very valid point. Those assigned roles, we don't come and write them down like, mm. this is your role, that yeah. is your role. We indirectly assign, assign them. Assign them. Yeah, like, that's really true. I never thought about it that way. Mm. Because truly, you tell somebody, you always do this to here. You don't always do this. Yes. Make sure you do this. You are indirectly assigning that responsibility mm -hmm. to Yes. Them. Without us even thinking about wow. it, wow. that's wow. a quiet like it's it's like a silent way of saying this is your task. I'm not doing this for you. Yeah, but um, the truth is um, for a healthy relationship, mm -hmm. I believe um, to be flexible yeah. in our roles yeah. and our responsibility mm -hmm. as a man. If you like to cook, if you can cook. Mm -hmm. cook. If you can, that's yeah. the key if word. Like, not, if the, not if you like, or if you can. Because there's a difference between like and can. If you like, you can stay there and observe. Because if you take the food on the table, who is going to eat it? True. Yeah. Yeah. yeah if you if if it's something you like to do mm -hmm. and you can't do it, just go ahead, pick it up. Don't wait for someone to tell you, oh, no, that's not your role, or this is my role, yeah. or you are supposed to do this. Because um, I know, uh, based on some of my you fellow guys who come from the same place that I come from, to them, there are certain roles that they feel is not a man's mm -hmm. responsibility. You know, and that's where the culture plays a part. You know, the field is not a man's responsibility, mm -hmm. but mm. a man taking those responsibility doesn't take anything away from you. It does not stop you, you, you know? from being a man or being a woman. Mm -hmm. It does not. It's just the ego trip. You yes. just feel like, I know I'm not going to do it because if I do it, it means, you know, it's mm -hmm. just something that has to do with our psyche. Mm -hmm. You know, once we overcome it, if yeah. you if you're in a relationship, a love relationship, yeah. then you will know that well, anybody can do anything for anyone. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I feel flexibility is the way to go for us to have a healthy relationship. Mm -hmm. We need to be flexible with each other. Mm -hmm. um, we need to let the roles the roles can overlap. And yeah. Do what you can do. You can just it's just like the way we operate in the corporate world. Mm -hmm. A man can work here. A woman can. Anyway. Initially, before there was only women can be nurses, but now now we nurses. have a lot of even exactly. doctors. Yes. So why mm -hmm. can't we do that at home too? True. So it's it's a flexible thing that we should try to imbibe that in our relationship. Let's not stick to assigned roles. And I, and I I think sometimes too is the experience. The prior experience, I remember there was a day I called my husband I said, can you help me pick beans? I was driving. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, I'm almost home and I need to, I want the beans in the, the what is it called? The, or this cooker that cooks quickly, I forgot mm -hmm. the name. So I just put it in there to like, <laughs> he's like, ah! 
for that if there is one thing in this, because it is uh, based on experience, he has picked beans as a kid, like fire. He has picked beans, picked beans, picked beans. Oh, no. that now you now vowed that you know when I get married I will never. <laughs> no, he didn't vow. I I can picture it now. He didn't vow because I know the pain. It's a it's a pain. I don't know how to put it. It's a serious task. But it's like you are counting beans. Yes. You are actually counting the beans. Yes. It's not, uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> Nobody likes it. You say, ah, uh, this is one thing I said I would never do as an adult. I said, now in my own house. <laughs> I was laughing so hard, yeah. but he did it. But that's one of the. I think sometimes it's experience. Sometimes yeah. experience some things that maybe they some people have experienced with their parents, and a, a, a woman could vow because of maybe how the husband, uh, the father maltreated mm. the mother, and say, you know what? I will never be this. I will never be like this. Yes. I will never be this humble mm -hmm. to a man. Or I will. So, and a man could also do the same thing True. and take an experience they've learned as a young, uh, at a very young age and use them. I will never allow a woman to do this. I will never enter a kitchen. True. True. And and people, they, they begin to live that way and it becomes a problem. Yeah. Society, so, what? Society, society in, so, in thank some you. cultures mm -hmm. frowns at it. If you see a man, and a woman running a business, mm. maybe a restaurant business. Yeah. The wife cooks and the man wash the dishes. Say, oh, this man is a slave to his <laughs> wife. True. You know, so yeah. To do laundry, say, hey, you are doing your wife's laundry. You are mm. doing your, I mean, things like that. Yeah. So, but how, you know, when we're talking about this, who is, I know you already said a short answer. I say no. Who is responsible for actually training the child? Mm. Who, whose responsibility it is? Not provider now. Yeah. They're it's, training. There's no, there, it's not a who. Mm -hmm. It's not a who. It's not a who responsibility. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a group. It's a collaborative effort. effort. Joint effort. Yeah. Yes. Because it's not just. <clears throat> yeah. The, the father has his own role to because children see, they see you different. They see you. They have specific expectations of both of you. Yeah. So if only one person does the, the raising, then they are, they are missing something. Mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. because. If you have girls, there's some expectation they have for you as a mother. Yes. If you have boys, they look up to their daddy for certain things. Thank you. And yeah. if only one person is doing, they are missing out on something. That's yes. why it has to be from both of you. Mm. You know, so, so that we won't be doing playing catch up yes, at the end of the day. Yes, yeah. Yes. Yeah. They can be a primary contact. Yes. But it's not primary. a sole yes. responsibility. Mm. You know, children may choose to have their mother as their primary contact. They go mm -hmm. to mom to say, "Mom, this is what we need." Yeah. But eventually, the dad is involved. Yes. You know. Wow. But mm. That's just the way I see it. I think it's not one. It's not a single person response. It has to be. It has to be. It takes two. It has to be. It takes two. Yeah. And and I, I, and sometimes I feel that uh, like sometimes the culture that we 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 we're coming from, and I, I feel it's going to have eventually our children they are pulling away from that culture, and they don't even some don't even want to marry or associate with our culture because of what they see, mm -hmm. and that that's really what really uh, it, it influence the decisions. Our children make the, the things they see at home sometimes influence their decision in relationship. Mm -hmm. When they now officially, when they now get married, it influences their decision. One thing that my husband has said before that sometimes you have to look at the the culture. If a child if a child doesn't like the culture they are coming from, mm -hmm. they have a choice not to even marry in that culture mm -hmm. because they don't want to be trapped. Yeah. And the same thing goes with it. But we, as I'm an African. We have this mindset that our, 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 our children need to marry. Mm -hmm. Africans. But what if? They, that's why we have to be examples to them. Mm -hmm. What if they are not satisfied with the way we 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 operate in the home? What are your like? What what, what I want you to? Speak, what do you think about 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 that? About the, our selfish way of thinking? Ah, it's my culture only. Maybe that's another. It can even be a topic for another another, another day. day. Because it's a, it's a whole. It's broad. It's broad. It's broad. It's broad. It's broad. Yeah. 
it's broad, but just a short, a short um, response. Mm -hmm. um, we should try as much as possible. Yeah. Um, to make sure that we, whatever we do, as regarding to raising kids, we are not selfish. Mm -hmm. Because when you are selfish, then you you're not considering them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. True. It means selfish means something that will benefit you. Mm -hmm. Just you. Yes, you your know? own interest. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. So we, we have to consider them. Mm -hmm. um, know why they make they are making the choices they're yeah. making, you know, and help them, you know. Because mm -hmm. I know even back in Africa, my wife too didn't want to marry from her own <laughs> tribe. Yeah, imagine. You know? So yeah, because there's something she's seen, maybe she mm -hmm. didn't like the way they do, they like the way yes. they do things. So yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. we have to, you know, make them understand why we do what we do yeah. and not be selfish about anything. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much for your for your words of wisdom. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, sons. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. There we have it. Flexibility is needed in a home, in a marriage, in a relation, in a relation flexibility is the beauty of every home. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Maury. Thank, Thank you. you. I appreciate Thank you. you. That's all we have for now. We'll see you next time. Don't forget, we need to keep the conversation going in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. Thank you. I love you now. Bye.